What's up, timekeepers? Me, Tom Guy, are going to be playing a new game for you guys called Stellaris. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. Time to roll the intro. Alright guys, so today I finally was able to buy uh, Stellaris. It's a game I've wanted to try for a while now. This is a long, uh, long campaign that's... I think it's a bit involved, I don't remember exactly, but basically... I think, if I remember correctly, you're running a universe and you have to... Either make friends with uh, with uh, neighboring aliens or whatever and take over. Basically, the, I guess uh, at the end of uh, whatever, uh, it's uh, whoever has the biggest portion of the universe or the, the galaxy wins the game. So I'm not 100% sure. That's what I remember seeing, but we'll see together. I won't be playing multiplayer just yet. I'll be trying a new campaign or a single player or whatever it is. So we'll go from there. So let's go. All right, let's go with the Earth one. Nuclear missile, warp travel, and humanoid ships. We'll go with that. I won't go into customization and stuff. Uh, 600 stars, galaxy shape. Let's go with the... I think we'll go with the default. Alright. Unite. Alright. So, United Nations of Earth. Government. Representative. Democracy. Ruler. Dolores. Muwanga. Human, species. Human. FTL method. Warp travel. Capital Earth. Uh, so, it's... Fanatic, egalitarian, xenophile, increased opinion for other species, cannot use full n native intensive facility uh, policy, cannot use non, no refugee sp species policy, empire modifier, trust growth, okay. Much has happened since modern humans first emerged in Africa some 200,000 years ago. Our kind spread rapidly across most of the globe and soon the first civilization took form. Uh, scientific progress has been swift, uh, though not without cost. War claimed millions of lives ever, even before the Atom was tamed, uh, and the turmoil of the 21st century saw the, the mandate of the United Nations gradually expanded in an effort to create stability. By the early 22nd century, the su supranational organization had become a de facto world government. Uh, though some still resent the power wielded by the UN as, as evidenced during the Mauritanian police action of 88, few can deny the, the technological breakthroughs they have come out of its sponsored research program. With the recent completion of a first true starship, mankind is about to embark on a new era of space exploration. We need to fully explore our home system before venturing out into the galaxy to do this, select our s science ship either by clicking on the ship itself or by selecting the vessel in the outline outliner then click on the survey button in the fleet fleet interface and select a non-surveyed planet near your home world your science ship will now plot a course to survey all planetary bodies within the system all right makes sense so we need to take science ship this is our science ship which is used to survey astronomical objects such as planets in a star system. Okay. A planet needs to be surveyed. Okay. Uh, survey... Yeah, survey? Oh, science ship. Okay, so... Let's go to Mercury first. I guess he's gonna go... He's gonna go uh, check all the rest after, right? Play. Hopefully this makes sense. Each population unit has a, or pop in our empire works surface tile on a planet. Some tiles is a small amount of resources by default, but planetary buildings are needed to go through most of our planet's population. Our home world already has a small number of buildings, but we should construct another. Build a hydroponic farm, a mining network, power plant, and a basic science lab. Presentation of this planet's surface divided into tiles. This tab is only visible on colonies and surveyed worlds that are habitable. Each pop occupies a single tile, which means that there can never be more pops on a planet than there are free tiles. Okay. Okay, so I must clear some of the areas to build stuff. Okay, so we're going to build and trying to get the, the resources here. Build a magnet center that will build around four Vesta to acquire them. Okay. Ooh, that's huge. 
Alright, so we'll take our new guy and go over here. There's a little bud. Alright, so we are surveying a new star, solar system, or star system. Alright, is there anything of interest here? Alright, on to the next planet then. Alpha Centauri. Alright. Hello, research captain. How's it going today? All right, so since we uh, we're gonna go to our solar system, and we're gonna con we're gonna bring a construction ship. Did I? As a science ship scan surface, it's quite clear that we have found something out of the ordinary. Its com composition and history provides us with an extra material that we should take up of gather. We will surely come across even more galaxies like this as we survey new planets that we should not. Intriguing. Let's go there. So we are finding resources. So I have to go now to my solar system. I need to. I need to like collect fucking resources here. Uh, uh this bad boy. You will cons. Oh, alien life. UNS Al Aldrin has made a sterling find of Alpha Centauri. Planets teamed with alien life for the first time in history. We have encountered life form that did not originate on Earth. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believe we were alone in the universe. Although none. Okay. All right. So. He has been he's building our frontier ship. We'll have another space station around a new star very soon in the uh, Oveni system. It's cool when you get close you get you get the sound effect for the planet. All right. So, uh I had another ship He's not done exploring yet. So he found a bit of resources, but he hasn't found any, uh... He hasn't found anything interesting yet. Alright. Oh. There are signs of activity... Research. I have to go around the solar system, because it keeps fucking up every time. So this game's pretty cool. It's it's very, like, it's... Very like it, like it, there's a lot involved in it. Okay, what are you gonna find for us? Hadronus six. Science ship under attack. Oh shit! Small squad of an ancient combat drone appears to have been abandoned in orbit of a blah blah. After some lang for blah blah. blah, blah. Oh shit! Lost. No! God damn it. A new faction that recently has been gaining traction in the internal political landscape of the United Nations. Huh? Led by Governor OK, they call themselves the Alien Compassion Organization. They remember have been pushing the hand hard for friendly relations. The, OK, I know that. This, OK. And we were previously encountered hostiles. Oh, that's not good. We have a new space station or a frontier station. All right, so I'm a little bit, uh, I'm a bit low on resources right now. I did discover a couple. Uh, I do have a ship here. It's fun. We still have so much to fucking discover. It's gonna be so fun. So yeah, we have a uh, so far, so far we discovered a lot. We took over this region here, and we looked a couple of stars. We still have so many stars to uncover and stuff like that. So we'll keep going in the next episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. Uh, it's very complicated, so sorry if I'm like, if I skipped a couple of parts. But uh, yeah, so thank you so much, guys, for watching. Uh, like the video and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate that. Follow me everywhere: Me Time Gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com forward slash Me Time Gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday to Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern Time. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep on keeping on.